Hey, I'm Danny, and uh, I I kill animals. Ah, uh, what? What did you just say? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Not not for food. Uh, like I kill animals for no reason. That's worse. Okay, okay. Let me explain. <clears throat> One day while I was in second grade. No, no, no! The internet hates your songs, Danny. But I, but I just want to be famous. Just do a story time animation instead. People eat people eat those up. Nom 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 nom. But, but I've never done one. Too bad. But. Change is scary. Psst. Ew. Maybe this is the only one you do forever. Uh. And then you can finally retire. I don't want to retire, but okay. Too bad! <laughs> Welcome to Diddy's first and maybe last ever story time animation! About the time he asked Diddy, killed his second grade class hamster, and it was kind of traumatizing, oh yeah! You're really not making this easy. It was a normal, beautiful day back in 2003. The sun was shining, the playground blacktop was covered in fresh chalk drawings, and it was Friday. And like, what could ruin a Friday? Especially in second grade. Uh, a, a, a tsunami? No, it was a rhetorical question. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, pneumonia. What? No. This particular Friday was popping. We were all drawing pictures. I was killing it with my signature SpongeBob drawing. It was kind of my thing, you know. I would draw SpongeBob for the kids in the classroom. It was a business. Get your mediocre SpongeBob drawings by a 10 year old here. D do you have any food? Nope. This is the Great Depression. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? To make this Friday even better, I was the pet feeder for the week, which means I get to feed our adorable class hamster, Fluffy. Wow. Oh my, oh my god, is that the hamster you killed? Save all questions till the end, please. <laughs> Also, yes. Alright, so it was 30 minutes until the bell dismissed us for the day, and vibes were good. I put my crayons down so I could fulfill my prophecy of feeding this dang hamster, and and this is where things get weird. At first, everything was going as planned. I, I took off the cage top, I opened up the food bag, I took out the food bowl. I poured one scoop of nom noms into this bowl. So far, so good. Fluffy delightfully started eating. There was no issue, it was adorable. <laughs> So adorable that there was no way I was not gonna pet him with my little itty bitty finger. As my finger went to pet his back, I was thinking about how great life was going for me recently. I was lion leader a few days ago. My teacher awarded me with this huge holographic Pikachu sticker because I was a good boy. You know, everything was fine. Good vibes were abruptly ended, however, by reality biting me in my butt. Except instead of my butt, it was my finger. And instead of reality, it was this dumbass hamster. The hamster turned around at lightning speed, whipped out his freak teeth, and bit my finger with everything he got. Holy shit. Now, I'm super socially anxious, so I don't like drawing too much attention to myself. So even though I was probably in the most amount of pain ever, I did not yell. I didn't say anything. I just stayed silent. I actually always thought about how if I was eating in public and I started choking, I wouldn't make a whole scene out of it. I would probably just stand up and say, excuse me, and silently walk out and die in the parking lot in solitude or something. <sighs> Jesus Christ, can, 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 can we move on here? Oh man, I'm dying up here, huh? <laughs> so I was silently freaking out with pain and I started instinctively swinging my hand around. And the hamster, oh, the hamster, uh, he was along for the ride. Uh, um, he was not letting go uh, until he did. And he flung against the wall and dropped behind the table where there was no opening. Hey, Danny, where's Fluffy? I don't know, I don't know nothing, man. Hey, afternoon. Uh, I'm here to... I ain't going back to jail! Uh, I'm here to pick up my son, Jimmy. Jimmy, your dad's here. That was pretty funny. I'm with it. I'm with it. So, yeah. I killed the second grade class hamster. I was mortified all weekend, and when I returned to class Monday, our teacher gathered us on the rug to tell us the bad news. Apparently, the custodian, Mr. Max, found him dead behind the desk while he was cleaning. And me, being totally non-incriminating, raised my hand and asked... Okay, so he, he was found behind the desk dead? Or... Was he found in the cage yet? Was, was there any blood? Like, don't spare us the deets, Teach. We gotta know these things. It sucked, dude. My, there was a kid who brought a bag of baby carrots that day for Fluffy, and he was just standing there crying. I picked these baby carrots myself. I bottled this up and kept it a secret for years. 
until I was a senior in high school and it came time to write your senior quote for the yearbook. I couldn't think of anything and uh, I thought, well, 10 years is long enough. And I admitted to killing Fluffy the hamster for my entire school district to read. You monster. And you know what? It felt good, okay? It was the perfect way for me to end crappy high school and leave with a bang. People thought it was kind of funny, too. Comedic timing is everything. Especially when you bottle everything up for a decade and let it negatively affect how your brain develops from a young age. Uh, are, 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 these, are, are these things supposed to have lessons at the end, or? Yes! You idiot. Uh, d don't murder things. Don't, don't kill, uh, keep, uh, Shit. Ah. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? Um, thanks for watching my very first story time. I think it came out alright. <laughs> I'm curious, what's what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you at school? You could leave it in the comments below. And oh hey animated me. That's a nice hoodie you got there. Well guess what? They're available to cop now. It's my very own designed limited edition black your special hoodie. Last time we sold out of these pretty quick. And since YouTube has a very special place in my heart, everybody watching this video gets a free discount code. To save you some moolah. As always, thanks for all the support. Can't wait to make more videos. Maybe another story time one day. Who knows? Anything's possible. Uh.